Big bros, I want to appreciate you for being a very good man. To be a very, you've been a wonderful person because everybody man fair in your total that you associate more. You are one of them, one of in your total. To me, going bro, you must be sunny. You are one of in your total, in your total ni. Bongo come on wa. So just be, oh man, yeah, me learn. We can do is life in Nigeria. How to wake people up. Mm. But that is going to get you in a lot of trouble. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to get you in a lot of trouble. Mm. Because over here in Nigeria, you guys are sleeping. And I don't even think you've... You, you have not even... You take a sleeping pill and you are not out of it yet. Right, So many things in Shelley. So, God bless you. God bless you. Bros, at what point did you decide to say you want to leave this country? What, what inspired your move from Nigeria to where you reside now? Okay. I from one, I was from three, I was from four. I was not here. But until Batimu was in university, and that is when I see, babe, you know what? Nothing in Nigeria is working. What? That is when I kind of not even. Don't let me. I think I'm going too far, too fast. Saying nothing in Nigeria is not working in '97, '96, '90, '95 is is not right. Something is still working at that time. Maybe very little, but some certain things are still working. I just realized then because. At the point, I start having friends that are not, that have finished university and, and are in a working class environment. And the way they complain make me realize that, you know what, I'm going to finish here and be complaining like these people. And that is when I actually think a lot more, I want to get out of Nigeria. All right, sir. Was spoken. I love that. Now, can you share, like, how many years ago are you talking about? How long? Uh, about 24 years ago. 24 years ago. Since you left Nigeria, you've been on and off. At least I know of you have come to Nigeria like four or five times, even more than that. No, not more than that. This is the fifth time. I've okay, been in I'm very precise then. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, what, has, what, what have you seen that has changed in Nigeria? Everything. Change for the bad. Everything. For the bad? Yes. No single thing that you can say that is good. Uh, one thing. Like, Cell phone. <laughs> oh God. To That's be, all. To be, cell phone. To be honest, I don't see cell phone as a big deal for me. Yeah, it is a big deal. Okay. I can get you whenever I want. When I first left this country, I have to call a calling center to tell them, oh, my mom is going to call. I'm going to call back at so, so, so time. Can you let my mom come? I have to call Nitel. Now, everybody have a cell phone. You okay. can get everybody at whatever time you want. Then Second I... thing that I've changed for good is social media, internet. There is now internet is accessible for, to everybody. And that, I believe that credit still belongs to cell phone. Cell phone make internet accessible to everybody. Apart from those two things, I did not see anything good. Everything I've changed for worst. I've taken those dive. I've taken a nose dive, brother. Okay. I think I agree with you because if you look at the stress you have to go through to get in touch with your people, you have to really appreciate the change, the impact of cell phone. 
So I agree with you that it's a big deal. But sir, if you look around, a lot of people are making huge difference. A lot of people. But out of many Nigerians, the percentage of people that are making progress, they are few. They are very few. And many people that reside, that lives in Europe, America, they wish this country is a place which they can come and invest. Despite that Nigerians need to be developed because people living, we see our country as developed country, Nigeria. One of, as I'm talking of myself, I, if, if I go to Victoria Island, I see big business, but people that have traveled wider the world, they look at me and say, I don't know what I say. They believe that if you go out there, you see difference, better difference. What do you think that is scare a lot of people outside the country to come to Nigeria and invest? And why many people are not successful? The number one thing, okay, and the only thing that scared people off in my own opinion, is basically corruption. Everything is tied to corruption in this country. And how wide and how acceptable the society have allowed corruption to flourish. Which is almost like corruption have now become part of our culture. And for me, with my own experience, I would say the, oh, the biggest reason why I give up, I totally, I have totally given up about, about investing in Nigeria is corruption. I hope that answers your question very well. Okay. So, do you think Nigeria still have hope? I'm very sorry for all of you guys that are going to listen to this, just in case somebody listened to it. But to me, there is absolutely no hope for Nigeria. Absolutely no hope. There can be a hope, and I will tell you what I think needs to be done. But on the, on the road that Nigeria is right now, I don't see any, any hope at all. There, are, there can be a hope. And I think the major part of, or let me put it this way, how we can start building hope in Nigeria is for every living citizen of Nigeria, living, every living citizen of Nigeria, living in this country, realize that in order for Nigeria to be better, in order for Nigeria to be better, Everybody must contribute. Everybody must be able to tell the truth to each other's face and be ready to receive the truth, however awful it may be. Mm. Because not being able to say the truth, accepting that you have to lie to get something that you want or you have to pretend to be what you're not is still kind of rooted in corruption that we have come to accept that you have come to accept in this country and without that correction i really don't see any hope without that correction and the sad story there is why I even said there is no hope is you see that the younger one, the children, are even more ingrained, or let me say it, they've been brainwashed to, into kind of like, almost like how 
some mullah have been able to co convince convince kids to become a terrorist. So is how Nigeria are able to convince kids now that you have to fake it till you make it, you have to lie, you have to packaging me, that is the slang. Packaging me, you are lying and you're calling it packaging. Everybody now accepts it's, it's somebody committed fraud, but you call it Yahoo Boy. A commissioner will steal your money, but you call it Ojasi, Oda Money, Doni, Oda. We always have a crazy name, glorified name for all this crazy attitude. And we think Nigeria will be better. It can be until we correct this. Until we correct this, Nigeria cannot be better. Oh my God. Honestly speaking, we want to say thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. You deserve more, more, more than this. You deserve to be celebrated. You deserve 100% praise. You deserve everything good. You deserve better. We're going to give it to you. We want to say, for those of you that are listening, there are more to come. Why I'm sharing this is for us to hear from other people. There are some things that we need to hear. There are some things that we need to know. It's about rubbing minds together. Let's share knowledge. Let's take from different points. What is important? is to have one mind when we have one mind we will contribute positively each individual and we will definitely arrive at greater heights i believe we are making progress i believe we are heading somewhere like our guest said only way, the only way to have hope, the only way to make sure that our hope is actualized, the only way to achieve greatness is by doing the right thing. If you have all the power in this world and you decided not to take one win when there is serious hold up or heavy hold up, then you mean well for this country. When you are the boss and you have all the security surrounded guiding you and somebody called you or abuse you or tells you something you don't like and you just let it go, then you are you mean well for this country. When you have all the power in this world and you just believe that it's only God that has power and you let the people surrounded by you, you control them, you let them do the right thing at all times, then you mean well for this country. I just believe that with this message, we are heading somewhere i strongly believe that and i want everybody to know we are heading somewhere and we are even closer 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 to where we are going we shall get there good night nigeria <laughs>